Okay, hi and welcome to this week. Uh, this week we're looking at dementia as a global health priority. My name is David Robert Shaw, I'm the Academic Lead for Healthcare at the University of Derby Online Learning and I'm also the Lead Academic for this course. This week I'm joined by... Yasu Kotera, uh, I'm Academic Lead for Counselling. And Yasu is uh, an NLP Master Practitioner Trainer and done lots of other things as well, but his, his main job is that he's responsible for the counselling and psychotherapy portfolio here at the University um, for online programmes. So um, this week's theme then is about dementia as a global health priority. And we know that dementia is um, an issue which affects many of us, certainly here in the UK, in Europe and the Western world, but also elsewhere around the world. Um, and actually there are many places in the world where dementia is only starting to become recognised as being an issue. For example, um, in Africa there are very few actual formal structures formal systems for looking after people with any sort of medical condition or long-term condition that they need that, so need that care for. Um, and so care is often provided by family members. Mm, uh, and big bodies like the UN and World Health Organization are, are putting out um, policies and procedures and guidance and things that we can really help to, to guide our practice and to look at the things that we do. Um, but as Yasu is from Japan, um, I, we thought we'd probably talk about Japan today. Um, Japan is a really interesting place mm -hmm. in the world uh, with, a, with an aging population. So um, tell us about Japan then. Yes. Of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, yes. Um, so yeah, uh, Japan is facing um, or in the uh, aging society already. Uh, right now uh, about a quarter population is over 65 years old. So the whole Japanese population is about uh, 120, 30 million people. So about uh, 30 uh, million people are over 65 years old and, and it's uh, advancing very quickly. So uh, within 20 years or so, probably uh, one third of the population will be over uh, 65 years old. Uh, comparing with the uh, UK, um, UK's population is about uh, 63 million and then uh, about uh, 10 million uh, people are over 65. So uh, you can see uh, like a quarter of the population over 65 years old is really, really uh, aging society. And the ratio of uh, dementia is also severe in Japan. Uh, in the UK, about 8% of uh, over 65 year old uh, people have uh, dementia. But uh, in Japan, uh, about 16% yeah, one out of six uh, people over 65 years old uh, have dementia. So, um, yeah, with this uh, high uh, aging society, uh, we need to think about uh, some uh, approaches to reduce yeah, or influence. So why do you think, I mean, you might not be able to answer this question, I guess, but mm. why, why do you think that's so much higher percentage-wise than in the UK? I see. Is mm. that just because of... Um, recognition or mm -hmm. um, perhaps people are more likely to get a diagnosis or, or perhaps the population group is skewed towards an older age. I know that lots mm -hmm. of people in Japan live to the age of 100 for instance. Yeah, yeah. Incredibly high, I mean, much higher than in, in Europe and in England right. and in the UK definitely. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. um, I wonder if that's something to do with it. I mean we know that dementia is not, is not actually an age related disorder however mm -hmm. yeah. if you are an older person you are definitely more likely to have yeah. something like uh, one of the dementias, you know, like vascular dementia, for instance. Yeah, so it's really a uh, good point. Um, like, uh, um, the longevity of Japanese people is longest all over the world. Yeah. Um, they live on uh, the um, like 83 years, and that's uh, longest in the world, and then followed by uh, Switzerland, Hong Kong, uh, Australia, those countries. Yeah. And then uh, UK, uh, the longevity is about 80 years old. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, probably people live longer, and and also, as you said, recognition of this uh, symptom uh, is uh, also a key. Um, some data from U.S. and Japan uh, say that uh, people, seventy-five percent of uh, dementia patients, get diagnosed uh, between light dementia to middle mild dementia. Uh, so now, Japanese government is endorsing to find even before that, kind of light, light symptom of dementia so that uh, they can do some uh, approaches to prevent the progressing to dementia. Yeah, mm. so that's, that's the government really recognising that it's a big problem that they need to do something about it or at least support people. Yeah. So um, I'm interested really, in the UK for instance, lots of care happens by partners or by, you know, by relatives, husbands, wives. Mm. Um, uh, sometimes care is provided for by the state and by um, 
you know, by so social care might be provided at home. Sometimes people have to pay for it. Mm. There are charities who, do, who provide things as well. I'm interested as to what the situation is in Japan, really. So, mm -hmm. you know, because I think there is a very strong focus on family in yeah, Japan. Yeah, yeah. And people are often, and it's a sweeping statement, but quite private, mm -hmm. proud people. So, mm -hmm. how, how would somebody be looked after in, in Japan? Um, be by the state or by family? Or? Uh, both, but um, it's a, a country of collective culture. So, uh, people uh, tend to live together. Uh, more than Western countries. So family members take care of uh, family members. And then uh, now, uh, about three years ago, government started uh, the plan called uh, Orange Plan. It's a kind of, uh, kind of respect the dignity of the person. Even the person has dementia, uh, it doesn't mean they don't have feelings, emotions, yeah, their uh, emotions or, or their opinions should be respected, kind of thing. So they started a uh, local level uh, dementia education, uh, like 90 minute lecture uh, in schools or right. yeah, at supermarket or at local bank yeah, to uh, teach people uh, how to, uh, what dementia is and also how to approach uh, these uh, people. Yeah. So That's a great idea. I mean, I guess our equivalent will be the Dementia Friends mm -hmm. sessions, which yeah. the Alzheimer's Society runs here and I really recommend going and listening mm. to one of those if you, if you could do. Um, they've just passed one and a half million dementia friends in the UK, which is amazing. Nice. And lots, lots more people wow. have actually attended sessions but never signed up or never gone through to register themselves as dementia friends. So um, I know they've got high aims and they want to get many more, many more people signed up as dementia friends. Mm. But actually, if something like that, like that is happening there, so mm. happening in schools, you know, we have primary, primary school children are now doing first aid and CPR in oh, this nice. country. So they could do something about dementia, dementia friends training or some, you know, mm. or some sort of training on dementia. We could do something in supermarkets um, and in workplaces. And I know that mm -hmm. uh, our department certainly mm. has run training and mm. awareness sessions for people in our department on dementia. And some businesses do do that. Some businesses do provide dementia friends training. So mm -hmm. perhaps that's something we can learn from Japan actually, is that mm. it's really important to involve people at all levels of society in dementia and that we can work together. You said about coll a collective culture. Yeah. I think that's a really, really interesting term. I think uh -huh. um, perhaps that's something that we could do with working on el you know, elsewhere in the world actually is um, coming together and trying to solve this together. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, know? yeah, true. Um, and the problem shared is problem half and all that, you know. So mm -hmm. if we could um, try and work together, I think that would be a good thing to do. Mm, yeah, that's true. Okay, well, I think we'll sum up for this week then. But um, thank you very much for joining me, Yasu. Yeah, thank um, you. Really great to hear about what's going on in Japan. Um, and uh, I will hope you enjoy the rest of the course. We've only got a uh, week or two left now. So um, keep posting, keep going through the activities. Um, you can get a certificate at the end and uh, let us know how you're getting with your badges as well. Um, but that's, it. that's all from now. So goodbye and thanks for watching.